Okay, so I'm talking to Naomi Beer who's the filmmaker behind The Centre, which is a short film and competition. Yes. Berlin. Congratulations, thank you. Nice to, nice to meet you. Um, then this is part of a series, isn't it? It's part of a series, and this is the second episode in the series of The Centre. Okay, and would you mind giving us a brief synopsis about this particular yes. and is it possible you could say say uh, slots into the series or, or I know it's a standalone film but yeah if you could tell us what it's about and how yes, it fits I can fits definitely the... do that okay. the center I started uh, I put in I have a Namibian woman mm -hmm. as an African woman who came to Germany and she started this center to help African women with problems concerning religion tradition culture um, bureaucracy. Uh, she started it in Berlin to yep. help women like this. And my se my series is based on on this. Mm -hmm. I have my lead character comes from Namibia. Yeah, she's a Namibian woman who started the center, mm -hmm. and she, yeah, she's trying to help all these other women. Mm -hmm. Little bit of the center why it's not from Namibia, it's because it's a little bit based on what I experienced. Yeah, because we should, yeah, yeah, we should explain your, some of your background actually, yeah, yeah. shouldn't we? I'm from Namibia, yeah, and I, um, when I came to Germany, I had a lot of uh, problems and difficulties with bureaucracy and filling out forms and people. What really struck me as an African woman was that they ignored me a mm. lot of times and that sort of... Mm, grating, I thought, yeah. grating is the word, yeah. Because <laughs> I'd be yeah. pretty pissed off, don't yeah, you can yeah. swear, but I'd be pretty pissed <laughs> off about it, yeah. And I thought, oh my goodness, there must be something that I can do to express how I feel about mm. this. Yes. I knew that I had to get these papers, I had to get them to go on, but always sitting there and just for example, you wait weeks to get an appointment at foreign affairs to get mm. papers right and mm. you, you schedule your appointment and everything, you got your papers or you're waiting a long time for it and then you go there on that date and you op of course you get a number of the door and so, yeah, so yeah, you don't the, have the to wait, and all that yeah. Sort of stuff, yeah. you don't have to take the ticket. So I did that and then you come there, you knock on the door and say here. I'm Naomi Birkusmaya, I'm here to get my papers done, here is my appointment, how does it work? And say, can you please go out, we have to finish our coffee, or I have lots of things to do, can't you see the door is closed, can you please go sit down? And those so that's a good metaphor, so the door is closed, <laughs> but actually you want the door to be open. Yeah, and that's actually why... I started to write this. I, I I sat there and I and I felt really I don't know. It's a little bit demeaning, humiliating in one way, but on the other hand it's also this learning experience that you that you're going through. You had a lot of people coming in and it it was all this uh, foreigners coming in and they had problems getting everybody was complaining about but I have my paper here why don't they open the door and, and stuff like that and I felt I, there must be something I can do to express how I feel and then I started writing about it and of course now as we all know it's not it's become a, a serious Europe -wide problem particularly in Germany I mean in the sense of Merkel has um, I think it's something like 800,000 um, you know um, Syrians yeah. on, um, which Personally, I think it's an amazing thing. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of people, I guess, don't think it's an amazing thing. No, 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 they don't. And I, I really thought of starting something, and then I thought, what would be the best way for me to do this? Mm. And that's why I chose the web series side. Yes. Because when I started a few years ago with my first episode, it was the time when the web series was coming. That was on. new, wasn't it? That was totally new. It was around 2012 or so mm. when I first did my when I did my first episode. So I decided, okay, this might be a way for me to show who I am because the biggest thing for me was to show who I am. I'm here. I'm telling stories about women that cannot be heard. They don't have a place to go. They can't tell their stories. I want to tell these stories. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen. It's a yeah. really great, great yeah, film. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I want to tell these stories, so there must be a way for me. And after I tried a lot of German producers to talk to me and have coffee here, have coffee yeah, there. Yeah, it's breaking. It's, it's breaking just, through. Yeah, it's just, sorry, we don't know you. 
Do that you kind of thing. And then I thought, why? I, I, I have this. Let me do something about it and see where I go. And that's how I started it. And is the dream that you thought Germany would be the dream that it's turned out to be? If dream might be the wrong word. Perhaps your yeah, vision, vision. Vision. All right. Thank you so much. A uh, little bit. I, as an African woman, I feel that I have learned a lot in Germany. I've learned how to stand up, how to be there for myself, because I had to fight for yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. things. I really had to fight, especially in the film industry, to do what I'm doing. Yes. And even. I'm a, I'm a school teacher, and primary school teacher. Yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah. this is kind of a love story, I think. This, yeah, this yeah. Segment, this isn't it? is, but yeah, it, it's based on this. Yeah, oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm actually a teacher, and in being a teacher, also, or oh, the only African teacher on a on a staff in Germany, yeah. also gave me a lot of a strength because I had to fight a lot of times for mm. who I am, mm. what I do. Please look at this, and now I'm feeling I'm getting somewhere, and and I'm happy that I made the switch from Namibia to here, so that I can show what I'm doing, and I can and I can have this opportunity to show my stories because this is really important for me to to give a voice to to these women here around. I had so many parents coming to me. Oh, you making stories about you making a movie. You're making movies about uh, African women, and they just start talking to me. And it's, oh, really? It, it's so lovely. And what about men? Do they become engaged? Is it more? It, it, uh, is it mainly women? Mainly women. To be quite honest, I've experienced I've experienced men a different way in Namibia than here. I think it's this whole moving from from Namibia to, to, to Germany, this whole European, we are European now, mm. we have to fit in. And you, you even notice it with the kids, which yeah. is a little bit sad, they try and be very European. But what, what is what is European? I mean, it's just a bit like asking what is yeah, Britishness. They try I don't, what to, is Britishness? Yeah, <laughs> they try to be very German and for example, I'm a music teacher, and if we start, I start playing African music, and then I'm the one who's always starting to dance. I love music. I, right. I'm a gospel singer and everything. So I start dancing, and the peop the, the kids who laugh the most are the African kids. And how can you play that in class? I said, but this is who we are. We are sitting here, look at yourselves, how many uh, children are here. Mm -hmm. We come from different places, and we have to recognize this and this is uh, this is why it's important for me to to sort of do something or show something that's that's not so so used to do, do, do you, did you find getting back to this has it ultimately been empowering yes very very i've learned a lot and i have like i said it it was a big um, thing for me movement in myself hmm. to be the person whom I am, to, to recognize myself as someone who can do this. And this is what I experienced here, I really, and what really gives me great joy and pleasure is in sense of empowerment is that I, at the moment, I get a lot of invitations to go talk at women's centers and just talk to people and tell them how I started and give them some ideas and I love that and I think this is also what I wanted to achieve. Because you're in quite an unusual position, most people that cross into filmmaking from another career <coughs> Going from something that's non-creative to creative, from yeah. again, but being a teacher, it must be creative. It is creative. So you have to be creative. To be, Otherwise, yeah, because I have little ones, and you have to be creative, and you have to think on the spot. Would you give it all up to be a filmmaker permanently? I don't think so. Hmm. I would okay. love to concentrate on my filmmaking, but I don't think working. I'm go I, I ever want to give up, up working with little kids. Okay. Now, what if I put it this way? So I'm putting you on the spot here, I don't mean to. <laughs> if you had a financial cushion, would you do it? Would you give it up? Then I would leave it for a while. Right. Yes, because okay. this is really at the moment what is important for me. Yeah, I can understand why. And yeah. it's quite intimate in terms of the way you've made it. And, yeah. the, and of course you are, not now, but you were new to filmmaking. The film that you made, the first, mm, how can I ask this? Looking back. Yes. To where you are now, yeah. 
what would you have changed with a film that you started it with? Uh, the first episode. Yeah. Because um, you've learned so everything in life. I've you've learned. learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, yeah, we'll do and that. I've learned this week by talking to people and everybody is saying you will never get anywhere without making the mistakes. Mm. And then sometimes you make, the, I made so many mistakes that I felt, oh no, <laughs> this, is, this is just too much. But sorry. I realize now that it gave, it, it brought me somewhere. It really gave me the power to, to understand a lot of things. Uh, I would try, if I go on, if I get the funding to go on, I would try not to do five jobs at a time, because that is very, very hard. Of course, it is my dream, and I want to be there every step of the way. But I believe if you, if you also let other people, especially in this industry, if you get the experts, the, the camera, the, the sound, those people to look through it, mm. then, then you see another idea and you, you, you can't just stand there and say, but I want it like this, I want it like this, because they know what, they they, know they they know yeah, what yeah. they're doing. I'm a writer, I have a vision, I can see people. I can create characters and I can I can paint a picture with words but I cannot paint my picture so nicely with the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and I think that is one of the things I would really love to change. I would love to go on but I would love to have the opportunity to have all these qualified, these artistic people on the set. And what's, what's next in this series? What's the next story going to be about? Uh, my next story that I am working on already is also the love story going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's about this doctor who worked yeah, for yeah. Well, going around and working around and she wants to go back. She so Bridget, it's Bridget, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. She will be in the next yeah, yeah, film. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. She, uh, And she got this invitation to go back mm. to work again and she's this passionate doctor who really wants to help people in all these war-torn countries and that's what she's been doing she wants to go back but she doesn't know how to tell Leonie her partner how to yeah. so, so, so this because Bri Bridget, 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 Bridget yeah, was not in the previous Birgit. film Bir Birgit. sorry Birgit was not in the previous film no she was she's so, from the beginning right okay sorry so was it always your intention to have her as part of the series, or did that as yes, it came in? Yes, right, okay. Yes, yes. It so it's an ongoing thing. It was. It was always the intention to have the doctor in the series. Yeah. In, in, in the series, because if I I thought if I'm going to make a series about helping people mm. and try and the center that I created is sort of running like a lot of non organ and uh, non government organizations mm. in Berlin with little money and trying to do things, help people around here and avoiding a lot of paperwork. Oh yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> so what, what about, I'm guessing you must have an idea in mind which is unconnected with the centre that you would like to, to make. Is there something you've got that's nothing to do with this yeah. but it's compl and it's completely separate? Is, is there anything else you'd like to do that's come I to I would love to. I, I wrote write a comedy. Yeah, I, write, I wrote a German script a long time ago because I wanted to test my German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came here, I speak German now. Of course, really nicely, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it comes to the writing, I'm still very bad. But I wrote something <laughs> and I realised I, I got people who helped me to make a small trailer for it mm -hmm. and I just I just left it just it, it was sort of for me a way also to get into this business to get an idea. Yeah, see yeah, how yeah. people work here and to get an idea yeah. so I have that and what I really would love to do is <coughs> sorry is to go on with this and <coughs> work on this because I realized even though I wrote it such a long time ago about 2000 2012 or so the, the issues are very it's it's now it's all this what's going on now uh, this whole racial thing the burning the cars the which has come back yes yeah, it's come back before and it yeah. is not going to go away anytime that so. is the thing and i thought oh this is very actual so i i, I really wanted to to work on that also but it is difficult, of course, to have two things going on at the same time. If you have the funding, of course, you can. Oh, of course, you yeah. can do, do anything. It. You can do anything. But at the moment, my third episode that I shot, we shot one scene from the third episode. I've written it already. 
and I would love to make it make get the trailer ready so that I can bring it bring out it to, there yeah. so that I can start maybe crowdfunding or any kind of way to get some funding because I've shot this the center what's running at the at the festival now I shot it totally with no budget just mm -hmm. for me and I shot it in Namibia and I shot it in Berlin so it was yeah, really it was a heavy heavy project I wouldn't do it again like this because that was because you learn yeah I've learned a lot yeah I've learned but it is wonderful to see it now like this. And I just want to go back to my, my, my third episode. It's not just this love story. It's also, I'm, I, I put in a refugee family story also because I feel it's important at the moment to also to show this. Yeah, that, yeah. And, and I have this, <laughs> this family yeah, who really like are tied, who yeah. came to Germany. And then on this day that, this, that the episode is happening, this, this husband, this man, just he just breaks down. And I didn't want to make him bad. I just wanted to show a person yeah. who came in another country and who thought this is paradise. Because that's what everybody said. You go into paradise. It's better where you are. It's better. Go. Take your kids. Go. And then he says, no, but look at this. We're living in a shack with lots of people. We have to do all this. I don't get a job. My, I'm trained. My kids have to look for a school that they, those kind of things. And I just want to show this desperation. Yeah. That is that is what I'm working on now. Okay. <laughs> no, mate. The best of luck. And Thank I knew it would be so fascinating. Much. Thank you. <laughs> Joseph will never give up this idea of his to start his own army. Respect. Is everything okay? 